to Vanessa's van life journey. I am Vanessa. I live in a van. Her name is Treasure. How are my Nutty Buddy Nations doing today? I just came back from taking a shower. And I didn't put any lotion on. Hey, Miss Eleanor. I didn't put any lotion on. Because I wanted to just lotion up once I got to the van. So... This is a new bottle of lotion. I had to buy some more the other day because the lotion, I was having to take the top off. So my skin uh, was very dry coming from Arizona and Nevada. So, sometimes when your skins go through different changes, it takes a while to get back used to its normal norm. So, how are you guys doing? Hey, Miss Dolores. Hey, Zen. How are y'all doing? Come on in, thumbs up the video. I am here to talk about the right way to do van life. The right way to do life. Like a lot of y'all are not uh, van lifers, but everything that I talk about, you could pertain to life itself, life in general. So I wanna talk about the right way to do van life so i'm gonna let some more people get in here while i lotion my body up i just use this same lotion on my throat my neck and when i'm wearing pants I normally don't put lotion on like when I'm wearing pants. So, I'm not going to put any lotion on my legs to go to bed. I don't think it's a necessity. And I don't know what I'm wearing tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm going to go take a shower at the gym in the morning before I go to where I go. I want to do my nails tonight, but I'm probably not going to do them. I'm probably just going to take the polish off because if I polish my nails tonight, I already know they're going to get messed up before I go to bed. So I'm probably not going to do that i don't know if the lotion y'all use have a locking mechanism on it but that's one thing i like about nivea it has a locking mechanism on it you could turn it a certain way and it locks and you turn it a certain way and it unlocks do y'all lotion have a locking mechanism on it how are you doing have a great evening I'm doing fine, Miss Dolores. I was live earlier on the channel. Uh, just uh, chilling and taking care of some more business. I haven't, I don't recall having any water to drink today. So I think I need to drink some water. If I did drink some water, it wasn't a whole bottle. I don't think 
so i'm feeling very dehydrated and i need some water y'all thumbs up the video vanessa how are you i am wondering where is your trailer why are you wondering that why are you wondering that I, i'm not understanding why you're wondering that so anyway miss taronda how are you doing i hope you're feeling better i've answered that question like a million times i don't know why you're wondering where my camper trailer is it's where it is and i'm where i'm at i live in my van i'm not pulling my trailer so my trailer is where it's supposed to be i hope that answers your question Okay, uh, I have to get some water. I have to get some water. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to talk about tonight the best way, the right way, the only right way to do van life what do y'all think is the only right way to do van life let me see who's going to get that question right what is the only right way to do van life i prayed for you last night miss taronda before i went to bed So I hope that you are feeling better. And that God gave you some strength. Hey, Miss uh, Boodles. I am doing about the same. My primary care doctor has called me in some stuff. Okay, don't discuss your... Uh, we won't discuss any more of that on YouTube. I don't want nobody knowing your business. Hey, Miss Sharon. How are y'all doing? Thumbs up the live stream. I am here tonight to talk about the right way to do van life. If you guys know what's the only right way to do van life, leave it in the chat right now. I am going to no don't apologize i just don't want you know we got trolls i don't want nobody to have you know too much about y'all personal business the right way is to enjoy every day we shall see if that's the right answer in a little bit i'm gonna tell y'all what i think the right way to do van life is meat at the bottom of the freezer is still good. I was going to warm one up tonight and eat it. But I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I probably should warm up something to eat. I got this uh, cherry thing that I had in the freezer. But I didn't have my refrigerator turned on today or yesterday this was a whole it's still kind of frozen but it's more more liquidy more like a drink 
more like a slushy. It's more drinky. More like syrup. Let me find my other phone. So I can reach out comments. I don't know where my other phone is. Okay, hey Stephanie. Uh, how does it taste? It tastes good. I love it when it's completely frozen. But it didn't melt it. It's not too sweet. It's still cold. I have a lot of ice in it, but It's more like a drink now. Uh, thank you. Uh, I am curious to see what you believe is the right way to do van life. You should already, y'all don't know how I think. You don't know how I think. My answer is gonna be very straightforward and basic. Very straightforward and basic. You need to adapt this train of thought and belief early on in life about everything. Especially when you have the freedom to do whatever it is you want to do. When you have the freedom to do whatever it is you want to do, you should know what the answer is. <laughs> The title of the live stream, we have 80, no, 63 people in the house, 15 thumbs up. The title of the live stream is, what is the right way to do van life? The right way to do van life is, there's only one right way to do it. It's your life, it's your journey, and it's your way. Whatever way you decide to do van life, that is the right way. Don't base your journey on other people's experiences. You are doing van life for your own experience, for your own reasoning, for your own thoughts, for your own healing, for your own journey. There is only, that's why I said it's only one right way to do van life. For each individual, it's only one right way to do van life. And that's your way. That's why traveling with other people may not work for some people. That's why a caravan might not work for one 
for other one person because it's only one right way to do this. And your way is the right way. Whatever way works for you is the right way to do it. Uh, that is the way. <laughs> that is the way. Your way is the right, right way. I can't tell you how to do van life. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you how to do your van deal. I can't tell you whether or not to travel with a, a pet, a dog, a cat, a bird, a snake. I can't tell you whether or not to be a solo van lifer or to travel with a partner. I can't tell you none of that stuff. And nobody could tell me. Nobody could tell me, oh, you should do this. You should do that. You should get a pet. You should get a dog. You should get a cat. You should get a bird. You, you can't tell other people how to live their life, period, in home life. You can't tell people how to live their life in van life. It is all individualized. What other people consider to be the comforts of home. I know uh, some van lifers, I've heard some van lifers say they wouldn't have a portable toilet in their van. That they just gonna go to public bathrooms. I think that's all fine and dandy. If you're not living in your van 24 hours a day and you're out of your van all day long, but for a practical person to think that you're not going to ever have a toilet in your van or you're never... I heard a van lifer say one time that they would never use the bathroom in their van. I was like, girl, you don't wake up in the middle of the night and have to pee? And the person was like, they only going to use the bathroom at restaurants. And girl, how long you been doing van life? To think that you will never ever use a bathroom or pee or do number two in a van, that's, that is preposterous. If you can live in a van for a whole year without ever taking a dunk or urinating in your van, girl, I need your secret and I need your bladder and your balls because... It's just, I mean, you we wake up in the middle of the night, early in the morning, and have to use the bathroom. Uh, Miss Doris say, do it the way that suits you best. Your journey is the only way for you. Whatever makes you happy and comfortable. And that's for each individual in, in real life as well. Uh, some people say that, like I say, I heard this person say before that they wouldn't have a toilet in their, in their van. And I'm like, okay, she don't wake up in the morning or in the middle of the night and have to go to the bathroom. And she must always be around a public place because she must not go boondocking and camping out in the wilderness or because I just don't see how you can do van life and live in your van 24-7 with 365 days out the year full-time van life. I don't, I don't see how you can do full-time van life without going to the bathroom. Let me make sure. Oh, I got the. I had to look and make sure my keys. Y'all know me and these keys. I, I don't know how you could do it. Any any of y'all 
have lived in a van before and 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 have never used the bathroom in your van just to try would be a great start for me vanessa i would be so proud of myself that is why i am so proud of you just to try what miss carolyn miss taronda say girl please <laughs> me and my daughter <laughs> Went on the road with my hubby, the big rig, and I had to stop at Walmart to get us a camping toilet and a bag because baby girl goes so much we wouldn't get <laughs> we wouldn't get nowhere. I just don't understand how people think that they can do van life and live in a van and you're not gonna have a toilet. Ugh girl you gonna be you gonna be you gonna end up missing on yourself uh i used to hold my pee all night but shoot now nah, i use a bucket <laughs> i feel so better i am part of van lifer uh miss doris say amen miss vanessa amen so that's one thing that I heard at the beginning of my, well, not at the beginning of my van life, because I was already doing van life when I heard, was I already doing van life? I think I was already doing van life when I heard somebody say that they would never use a toilet in their van. And I was like, oh, okay. So that's one thing I heard. But I was like, mm -mm. you know, that's why you can't do things that other people do and do it for the reasons that they do them. And uh, what else did I see other van lifers doing that I knew wasn't going to work for me? Uh, I seen other van lifers have pets and I knew that wasn't going to work for me like it seems to work for them so well I just knew having pets in a van at the beginning of my van life maybe as I get into the van life longer but I knew having pets in a van or a pet in a van for me was not going to work for me at the beginning of van life because because it's not fair to an a pet a pet is not like an animal it's like your family it's not fair to a pet to I know it's places I want to go I know it's things I want to see I know that it's places that you have you go sometimes and they don't allow pets in there and you're gonna have to leave your pet in the car and uh, some of the states I travel in are hot so I just was like and then when I see other people that live in a van with pets the all the people that I watch that had YouTube channels uh, from the beginning they had pets they had big dogs i'm talking about big dogs i'm like who huh? the dog sleeping in the bed with them running around outside hiking camping and then the dog is in the bed like you're not taking a bath two and three days yourself how often are you bathing your pet and then you sleeping with your pet. I just don't believe in sleeping in the same bed with a animal. That's not something that I believe in uh, for myself. I don't believe in it. Uh, I've had dogs before. They want to sleep in the bed with me. I trained them. You got your own bed. <laughs> I'm going to give you a comfortable bed. I'm going to give you a mattress. I'm going to give you, and you, to each his own, you guys, there are people who 
sleep with their dogs to each his own i'm talking about what will work for me and the things that i've seen other van lifers doing that i knew wouldn't work for me and at this time in my life owning a pit in van life it's not for me because I'm a full-time van lifer. I want to go camping. I want to go hiking. I want I go to the to the store sometime and do a store walkthrough and I'm in the store for two and three hours. And and sometimes I'm in my van. See, that's another thing too. Sometimes I'm in my van all day long and I'm not getting out two and three days I'm in the van not getting out of the van just driving to where I need to drive to to move around and I'm not getting out of the van if I had a pet my pet is gonna be cramped my pet gonna want to get out the van my pet not gonna want to stay in the van for two and three days <laughs> that's not fair to me in my opinion full-time van lifing but to each his own no pets for me either in a van i can't do that to them hey miss angela uh miss carolyn say just try to do van life Miss Doris say, I hope that people don't try to hold their bowel movements and pee all night because they are going to be some very unhealthy folks. Girl, I have to use it when I have to use it. I made my own portable toilet, which worked for me great. Uh, I'm glad that Trelinio sent me out this uh portable toilet i really like uh my portable toilet it works good for me since i've had this portable toilet i'm missing with this what is going on since i had this portable toilet i use less pine pellets because it has a, a urine diverter and uh, i love it i love it i like it uh i would recommend it there are other brands or you can make your own portable toilet whatever you have to do in the beginning as you as you go on and if y'all shop at flea markets and thrift stores and garage sales you will find so much stuff for van life at flea markets and thrift stores for cheap even before I started van life. Because I was living in a building with no lights, no glass, no water, no plumbing. I had so much stuff already that I had accumulated over the years that I could bring and transition straight into van life because I was living off grid in the nomadic life in a building and I had a portable toilet. So I had all of this stuff already. Uh, hey, Miss Rita. What's up, Vanessa? Happy Monday and hello to everyone in the live. Miss Rita, we're just talking about what is the right way to do van life. So one thing that I've seen other van lifers do or say that I was like, mm -mm, that ain't gonna work for me. One van lifer said they don't, they would never use the bathroom in their van. I was like, really, girl? I ain't even living in my van now. And sometimes I got to use the best. Sometimes I got to pull over on the side of the road and jump in the back of my van and say, ooh, I got to use it. I'm holding it too long. That's one thing. Having pets in a van right now, it's not for me. If I did have a pet in a future vehicle, they're going to have their own area. They're going to have their own bed. And I don't know. I like small pets. But I also like bigger pets, a bigger dog, 
Miss Charlene have a German Shepherd, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful German Shepherd. I might have to steal him from her one day. Like when I get my box truck. <laughs> she probably watching. Huh? I probably have to steal Miss Charlene's. Even though I prefer female dogs. Miss Charlene's dog is, she has a beautiful, beautiful German Shepherd. Um, he would need to be tamed a little bit because that he is a wild child. But I would really, I, I'm probably, like when I go to, um, when I go back to Nevada, I'm probably going to see if Miss uh, Charlene will let me take her dog camping with me. I'm probably going to take him camping with me because he's a beautiful, beautiful German Shepherd. I'd like to spend some time with him and calm his nerves because he's a wild child. Uh, I have seen some videos where they say that they don't use the bathroom in their vans and I say that you're a lie. I don't know how that's possible. How, how that's possible? People have to wake up in the middle of the night and early in the morning and use the bathroom. How is that possible? Girl, I don't think it's possible. But if they like it, I love it. So that's, that's two things that I seen and heard that I knew that wasn't going to work for me. Uh, let me see. Let me see. What else? Uh, well, a fixed bed. Almost every... I think I'm the only van lifer that sleeps on the floor. Is there any other van lifers that y'all know of that sleep on the floor? I think I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm the oddball. I think I'm the only van lifer that sleeps on the floor. Do y'all know any other van lifers that sleep on the floor? I I don't know. Let, let me see what y'all say. Let me see what y'all say. Do y'all have y'all ever seen another van lifer? that does van life full time i'm not talking about when you first start van life and you throw a uh, 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 you know a mattress on the floor and you sleep on the on the mattress until you do the van build i'm talking about somebody that after their van build is over with they sleep on the floor Uh, Miss Doris says she watches this person that has three dogs and sleeps in her van. And y'all, let's not mention the names of other van lifers and channels because I don't want nobody to say we talking about them or putting them down or anything like that. I never mention other names of other channels on my channel. So thank y'all for not doing that. Hey, Vanessa, my friend have a German Shepherd and I just love her they are so sweet smart and protective yes German Shepherds are very loyal protective my grandmother had German Shepherds uh, she had German Shepherds and she had a white husky I ask y'all not to uh, mention other channels. Don't mention other channels, y'all. You, We could just have the conversation without mentioning other channels. But uh, is there anybody, do y'all know of any other van lifer that sleeps on the floor full time, all the time? Yes or no? Uh, Vanessa, I believe that makes you more free to go where you want to go because you utilize what you need in your van 
the other people probably just go around where they can go to the restrooms. Yeah, but how are you, 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 so you're always going to have to be in the city. If you are not using the bathroom in your van, that means you're always in the city. Or you're always at a campsite. Um, I just, I just, I just can't imagine. I, I, even if you're in the city or even if you're at a campsite, when I go camping, I still wake up in the middle of the night and have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not going and w get out my van in the middle of the night and go use the bathroom. Girl, how? Can y'all see my comments? Yes, Miss Classic, we see your we see your comment now. Uh, you are the only one with a closet with sliding doors. Okay, but okay, this is another thing. When I watch other van lifing channels, and I when I tried, I'm telling y'all, when I first did my van build back there where my stove is at that was supposed to be my bed because that's where everybody puts their bed i was gonna have my bed back there girl i tried to lay on i, I was so uncomfortable it wasn't wide enough it wasn't long enough my feet wouldn't spreading all the way out I, I was like oh i can't sleep up here girl i was like uh-uh that is not gonna work for me that was supposed to be my bed. And God ended up giving me a whole nother design because that wasn't it. <laughs> so that's why I say the only right way to do van life is the way that you want to do van life. Because baby, everybody put their bed back there. Vanessa tried to put her bed back there. And I'm and it was a Girl, I'm telling you, I wrecked my brain. It's another van lifer that has a van like mine. Exactly like mine. And it's a man. And he's taller than me. And he sleeps back there. And I'm like, but how? I'm shorter than you. And my legs or I'm like, how does he do that? Girl, I tried. I was like, something ain't right with that picture. Girl, it didn't work for me, y'all. It didn't, it didn't work for me. But I tried to do what I seen everybody else doing, and that was put that bed back there. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started to think. Like when you put the bed back there, I want a stove. I want a refrigerator. Where I want a stove, I want a refrigerator, and I want a closet. And I want a sink. Okay, girl, where you gonna put all that at? A stove, a refrigerator, a closet, a sink, and a bed? Something gonna have to give. Something is going to have to give and guess what the bed gave <laughs> i gave up the bed something is gonna have to give when you live in a small space now you have to think about everything that is important to you in home life like, what is the most important? Some people don't cook. So, it don't matter to them if they have a stove or a refrigerator. Some people are going to eat out every day. Some people are don't need a stove, don't need a refrigerator. Some people could deal with it just a little small cooler because they just want some, some drinks up in there and that's it. So, some people wouldn't need a stove or a refrigerator. If you don't want a stove or a refrigerator, then a bed... If I didn't have a stove or a refrigerator, then a bed could be back there. 
Or maybe I wouldn't put my bed back there. Maybe I would have put my closet back there. Maybe I would have did something different. Let me see what y'all saying. You're too tall. No way. That's I tried to sleep back there, y'all. It was I was falling off. <laughs> I was falling off. I wasn't comfortable. My feet were not my feet were not stretched all the way out. I was like, uh-uh, I can't do this. I don't know how the man did it. But I couldn't do it. I was so, 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 so uncomfortable. And then I took my mattress. Did I take my mattress or my blankets at the time? And I threw them on the floor. I threw them on the floor and say, I'm going to sleep on the floor till I figure this out. And I haven't gotten up off the floor yet. I haven't gotten up off the floor yet. So do y'all know of any van lifer, other van lifer that sleeps on the floor? Miss Callan, are you still here? Are you still here, Miss Callan? Uh, is this why you want a longer vehicle to accommodate a bed this time? No, girl. I still don't want a bed. <laughs> I don't feel like I need a bed. Bed. I feel like if I get a box truck, I will have enough room for a bed. And I may get a bed. But it's not necessary that I have a fixed bed. I just really don't want a fixed bed. I really like picking my mattress up. A fixed bed just is so much wasted room and a fixed bed is usually where your company is going to sit i don't believe in people sitting on another person's bed so i wouldn't want to have my bed be my seating area because i don't want nobody sitting on my bed so i don't need a fixed bed like to me the floor is my box spring and my mattress is my bed i don't need a fixed bed i would rather have which i know when i get another space that I can't give all my secrets away. You just have to wait and see. I don't think I'm going to have like a fix. What I call a fixed bed is your bed stays like that and everybody sees it and everybody knows where your bed is. That's a fixed bed. I feel like in a small van or a van home or a RV or a box truck or whatever it is I feel like people looking at your bed is in your house your bedroom is separate so nobody can look at your bed I don't want nobody looking at my bed and then if you got a bed, you got to make it every day because you might have company coming in. I might not want to make my bed every day. If I have a bed, I'm not making it every day. I'll already tell you. I'm not making that bed every day, girl. But now I have to pick up my bed and put my bed away. And all it is is I'm just picking up my mattress and, and, and taking my comforter and putting it up. And that's it. Uh, 
Miss Karen say yes I'm here I was trying to see is Miss uh, Carolyn to accommodate a bed oh did you buy anything at the market it looked like fun thank you for sharing no I didn't buy anything I didn't girl the only thing I wanted with some food <laughs> I didn't see anything I really y'all I really don't need anything even though it might be some stuff I want like I'm I want to go to the thrift store and uh, see if I can find me some leggings or something but I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the thrift store before I leave here but I really don't need anything else and if I get anything else it's got to be something that's going to have a specific need that I need it for. But no, I didn't. I, I went to show y'all, but I didn't I didn't need anything. I didn't see anything. And you're welcome. And thank you for watching the video this morning, darling. Uh, Frugal says, I tried different bed frames and cots, but the most comfortable has been a mattress on the floor with all that headboard room girl just buy your mattress it's the same size mattress as most people gonna have if they have a twin size bed i don't understand what the problem is i got the same amount of room of a cot but bigger and the frame is not flimsy and shaky and separated. The floor is perfect. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I love to see more van lifers sleeping on the floor because you're going to have so much room to live in. Like, Miss Cameron say, Vanessa, your back never bothers you? No. Why would my back bother me? Why would my back bother me? I'm on a mattress. Why would my back bother me? I'm on a mattress. Uh, Miss Carolyn says, Miss Vanessa, I am here. I don't know. I don't know anyone else. Miss Doris say, you're the only full-time van lifer that I know of that sleeps on the floor as long as you're comfortable. Miss Carolyn say, I would like maybe a couch and return that turns into a bed. Mm -mm. I don't want nobody sitting on my bed. Uh, but like when I get my next vehicle, I'm going to have a place for people to sit but I just believe that the place that people sit their butts on should be separate from where people sleep. That's just my own personal opinion. Uh, so that's what that's three things that I that that I wanted differently. I I got to have a, a place to use the bathroom. Um, I wanted a refrigerator and a stove and I don't know nobody that does van life in this size vehicle that has a refrigerator my size that have a stove that have a sink that have a toilet that have pots and pans and dishes and a closet girl where they do that at where do you get up my house is a mess right now y'all i can't show y'all because <laughs> i got all this paper right here uh where do you get all of this living space at I mean, can y'all see this closet? Have you seen this closet? Have you seen the closet? 
That's, that's all I want to know. Have you seen the closet? Have you seen the refrigerator? Have you seen the stove? Have you seen the cupboards, the, the pots, the pans, the sink? And then I still got a place to put my toilet to? I am 60 years old. Maybe I am thinking about me, LOL. 60 years old. Um, I don't think 60 years old have anything to do with sleeping on the floor. Because see, you're in the van. The van is not the floor. It's not going to be the same scale as in your house. I'm not low, low, low on the floor as I would be in the house because everything is scaled up a little bit. So I'm, I'm on the floor right now, but my toilet is right here. My cabinet is right here. When I want to get up, all I got to do is just get up. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, if I was 80 years old, I'm still probably going to be sleeping on the floor because I still want all my closet space. I still want my stove. I still want my refrigerator. It's up for debate whether or not I need a sink. Um, I wouldn't need this kind of sink. Um... Uh, if I get a vehicle that I could stand up in, I, I, I would have another kind of sink. But it's still up for debate on whether or not I think I need a sink. Uh, Miss Vanessa, my mother wouldn't let people sit on her bed either. I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I, I don't like if I go to somebody's house and they're sitting on their bed and they're like, oh, have a seat. And I'm like, uh, no, thank you. I don't want to sit on people's bed. Like, you have somewhere else I can sit? Oh, I just sit on the floor, girl. I'm not, I'm not sitting on your bed. Uh, I might lean on the bed like that. But I don't, I don't like sitting on people's beds. And I don't want nobody sitting on my bed either. <laughs> That's just... I know I'm, I know that might be weird, but... I don't know. I know it might be weird, but I don't, I don't think it's weird... To not sit on people's bed or not let nobody sit on my bed. Uh, so there's that i mean is there anything else that i could think of that i seen other van lifers do and when i watched their channels when i first was getting started oh i know something else that van lifers i seen other van lifers saying things about it and i do differently a lot of van lifers don't want to have propane in their vans. A lot of people are scared of propane in their vans. And I'm not. I've heard a lot of people say, I can't do propane in my van. I will be scared. I have been doing van life for almost three years. I have propane in my van. I have a stove. I use my stove as a heater in the wintertime. I have slept in my van overnight, leaving the stove on all night long. I am still alive. I'm not telling nobody else what to do or how to do it i'm just telling you that it's only one right way to do van life and that's your way other people don't want to put propane in their vans and that is absolutely 100 percent fine and okay 
other people don't want to burn the propane all night long, that is 100% fine and okay. I don't always burn my propane all night long, but where was I this winter? And my butt was freezing. Where was I? And I burned my propane all night long a couple of times because it was cold. I'm trying to see where I was at. I can't remember. Uh, Miss Mickey say, I don't feel comfortable sitting on people's beds either. Curly Traveler says a Japanese floor mattress might work for you to sleep and sit on. Uh, my mattress worked just fine for me, girl. I'm sitting on my mattress now. Girl, I, I love my setup. Uh, Miss Carolyn say, Miss Vanessa, I agree with you about using propane. Miss uh, Taronda say, I know this isn't on topic, but Miss Vanessa and Nutty Buddies, have you ever used pure, pure what? Pure what? What's that word? I don't know what that is. Was I in Texas when I when I had used the uh girl? I don't know where I was at. It was freezing. <laughs> My butt was freezing. Where was I? I know when Miss Charlene came. Oh. Miss Charlene came down here. It was cold too. Girl. Oh, you know, I'm trying to think. I can't remember where I was at, girl, but girl, I done I done ran that stove all night long uh this year. I don't know what that word is you're saying. Pure. I don't know what that is. Dallas, I ain't been to Dallas. I don't know what that is, Miss Taronda. Van lifers also talk about safety measures. What's your take? What type of safety measures? Houston, girl, I don't know where I was at. But I slept with that heat that with my stove on all night long a couple of nights this year this winter i think for like a week i might have i might have was in houston i think i was in um huntsville and then i think after i left huntsville i came to houston and it was cold too and i went to go get my propane tank filled up <laughs> Because, baby, we going to keep them. I got two propane tanks. Not one. For the people who are scared of propane. I have two propane tanks in my van. Okay? One in the back and one over here. I'm only using one. One is in the back and the other one is... A refill but I have two propane tanks in my van keeping safe while living in an RV or but when you say safety measures like in reference to what in reference to a break-in or it's different kind of safety measures so what kind of safety measures are you talking about I'm not no scary person um, I don't feel like 
I need to do anything different than you do in a house because I feel like crime is everywhere. People have home invasions every day. I feel like a person that lives in a van can be just as safe, if not more safe than a person that is living in a home. I feel like you're not gonna never intentionally park anywhere where you think you're gonna be putting yourself in harm's way. And uh, I feel like if you're parking at a campsite or a state park, I feel like that's safe. Um, so I just don't, I don't live my life feeling like I need to be uh, scared and uneasy. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to go where I want to go and be aware of my surroundings. And I sleep light. I'm a light sleeper. So if anybody think that they can startle me or whatever, I'm a light sleeper. I'm, I'm probably going to hear you when you're trying to creep on in. And then I'm getting up and I'm putting my lights on. I told y'all about the flashlight. When I was in somewhere else not long ago. And I'm sleeping in a parking lot. And I always park off. by my, I try to pick a parking lot where there's no other cars in it. I like parking lots where there are no other cars. Okay, I like that. If I do sleep in a parking lot where there are cars, I'm going to sleep away from everybody else. So if I hear a car door near me in the middle of the night, that is suspicious because I'm parked off by myself. So why on God's green earth in the middle of the night in a parking lot with only one car by itself would anybody come and pull up against me? Why would they do that? So if they choose to do that, I open, put my window down, take my flashlight, and put my flashlight out the window to let them know somebody is in here, and somebody's up, and somebody is alert. That happened one night, two different times. Somebody pulled up on the side of this side of the van in a little alleyway. I don't know what they was doing. I put my blind down, stuck my flashlight out there when the girl, them people said, ah! <laughs> them people said, oh. Then like five, 10 minutes later, somebody pulled up in a truck on this side of my van. And again, I'm in an empty parking lot where you could have parked anywhere you wanted to park. But you come and you park next to me. I raise this thing up. Stuck my flashlight out the window on that side. They moved. If they wasn't up to nothing, why would they move? If you just wanted to be there, why would you move? I'm going to send you a voice clip on Instagram. Okay, let me see. Hold on, y'all. Let me put this on mute for a minute. Okay, yeah, I thought it was like Campho Phonique, but I was like, why is she not saying Campho Phonique? I've never heard of pure camphor. I've never heard of it. So I can't maybe uh, type that in on YouTube and ask benefits of that. I've never heard of it before. 
But I thought that's what you was. I thought it was like camphor phonique, but I ain't want to make myself look stupid. So, girl, I ain't say nothing. Uh, keep safe while living in an RV or a van. Hello, everyone. Hey, grinding. God's blessings and mercy. LOL. I would feel safer with other people's vehicles around than isolated. I disagree. That's just my personal opinion. I disagree. If you're going to an open parking lot with other cars around, you don't know those people. You don't know those people. You don't know why they park there. You don't know what they up to. You could get caught up in the middle of a crossfire being parked around other people if you're in a parking lot by yourself what is there to be scared of if you go park next to other people they could they could be getting in and out their cars all night long it could be somebody else parked there and they could be doing drugs they could be selling drugs they could be prostituting girl Park by yourself. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Depending on what kind of parking lot you're parking in. I, um, nope. I, I don't like parking at truck stops. And if I went to a truck stop, I'm not parking around no other cars. Girl, I'm about to be parked by myself. I'm just saying, that's just, that's why I'm saying your way is the right way because if you want to park around other cars, that is right for you. Vanessa not parking around no other cars. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Miss Mickey said, yeah. I am a deep sleeper girl. We'll wake up in a whole different state by the time I wake up. Uh-uh. Well, that makes a lot of sense, period. If you park by, that's why I'm saying I'm a light sleeper. So, if I park by myself and I hear, see, this, see, this is my logic, okay? If you park around other cars and you're hearing car doors slam all night long and people talking all night long, how do you know when to wake up because something is going on? Because you hearing car doors slamming all night long and you making yourself, uh, you making yourself What's the word I want to look for? You're making yourself comfortable with hearing noises and door slam. So you're going to accept noises and door slams all the time. But when you park by yourself, noises and door slams is a automatic What's the word I'm trying to think of? It's an automatic. What's the word I'm trying to think of? It's an automatic warning to look out the window. But if you sleep somewhere where you hear noises all night long, when you going to look out the window? When you going to check on your surroundings? If I hear anything in the middle of the night, I can get up immediately because I know that I shouldn't hear anything where I'm located at. I'm in a public place right now, in a parking lot. I am not parked around anybody else. If I hear something in the middle of the night, guess who about to get up? Vanessa. Vanessa saying I have the best protection, God. Uh, Miss Carolyn say, Vanessa, I got what you, I get what you are saying about parking alone. It will probably be more safer. Girl, you made me laugh so hard. 
What did I say, Miss uh, Taronda? Grinding say, how would you know it's not your door slamming open and now they are in your van? If you around so many people makes total sense. Uh, Mickey say you will get used to the sounds. Ain't nobody trying to get used to no sounds. I am a light sleeper. I don't want to get sensitized to where I hear noises and don't care about them. <laughs> no, that's not me. I ain't never been like that. I am with you, Vanessa. I don't want anyone sitting on, sitting their butts on where I sleep. Uh, I am dead. What happened? Why y'all dead? Okay, what did I say? Y'all need to tell me what I said to make you dead. Because I don't know what I said. Y'all, thumbs up the live stream if you haven't already. We have 109 people in the house and 57 thumbs up. If you are enjoying the conversation, if you're learning something, if you agree, thumbs up the video. Because you're comical. I don't know what I said. You are so funny. What did I say? <laughs> That's funny. I'm talking for real. This is real talk, okay? This is real talk. I'm... If a door slam around you and you're living in your van and you're by yourself, get up keep your flashlight handy i'm telling you this is a when i did this the other day that was the best thing to do to let somebody know you're in your van you're up you're alert and you ready for whatever once you flash that flashlight they already know you must you girl you must be ready you must got something else for them if they decide to fool with you so flashlight and whatever other protection that you're gonna have nearby have that nearby if you are city now see even when i go blm land camping i like to camp away from other people when i'm camping by myself and I'm not camping with somebody like when I went camping with Miss Charlene. I know that that person is there with me. But we're still going to camp away from other people. And when we go in at night, we in. Now when Miss Charlene gets up in the morning and I hear her doors slamming and stuff. Because I know she gets up early than me. I'm like, oh, she's up. Cause I know I'm camping with somebody, but when I'm go BLM land camping, I still like, I remember I went camping on BLM land one time and I was by myself and somebody came and camped around me. <sighs> they came and camped around me. They was playing music they had they were staying up all night long they had kids they was rowdy they was coming in and out all times of the night car door slammers i was like is this gonna be my life <laughs> For the next 14 days girl i woke up the next morning packed up my campsite and said y'all can have it i went and found me another spot all alone by myself some people 
And this is a respect thing too when you on BLM land. When it's a lot of land all over the place, don't go parking right up on somebody that you don't know. Them people was out there by themselves because they wanted peace and quietness. So, even when I'm on BLM land, I'm going to be by myself. Unless I'm camping with somebody. If I'm camping with somebody, that's a totally different story. But when I am in the middle of nowhere and I don't know nobody, I'm still going to be by myself. Because when I'm in the middle of nowhere by myself, I need my five senses to hear, see, and feel if anything is different. Even on BLM land where it's pitch dark black, it's important to be aware of your surroundings if you by yourself. And being a solo female traveling alone by yourself ain't nothing to be scared of in my opinion. You just need to be aware of your surroundings. You need to park in a place. You need to park. The way that I park in my spots, I always park where I could pull out. Anything happen in the middle of the night, this curtain could go up. I could jump over that seat, hop up in <laughs> my driver's seat, and take off. So I never want to park where I'm going to block myself in and I'm going to have to back up and turn back around. I like to park where I'm already in a position where in case of an emergency in the middle of the night, I am going to be able to just and pull on out of there. Y'all got any more questions about... Uh, Hold on, y'all. Let me put this on mute for me. Y'all got any more questions? Am I making sense? I heard that same thing about propane. What's that, Miss uh, Doris? Uh, Miss Carolyn say, Miss Vanessa, I tell you all the time, okay, you making me laugh and sometimes you are making me cry. Girl, I know I'm supposed to make y'all laugh and y'all cry because that's that's what a good movie does. A good movie makes you laugh and it makes you cry. And I am your television. I am your entertainment, girl. I am here for you. I'm going to make you laugh and I'm going to make you cry. I'm going to make you snort. <laughs> oh, some of my old subscribers say, Vanessa... I fell out of my bed last night. <laughs> oh, Miss Miller. Miss Miller say she done fell out of her bed several. <laughs> Some of y'all, I done made y'all fall out of y'all bed. I done made y'all pee on y'all self. It's, I, I, I don't know what I be saying. I, I, I don't be trying. I guess you don't have to try when you're funny. Oh, uh, but yeah, y'all. I some people are scared of propane. That's why I do van life the way I do van life, and I don't do van life the way nobody else do van life. I have two propane, the big ones, not them little small ones. I got two full propane cans in my van. I got a stove. I got a refrigerator. I'm traveling with an air condition right now because I thought I was going to be in, in uh, Texas all summer long and I thought I was going to need it. Turns out, I'm probably not going to need it. Uh, I have a whole closet. So, I'm doing van life on my own terms. I'm doing van life the way that's right for me and there's only one way 
that is right to do van life. And that's the way that you want to do it. You don't have to answer to nobody else. Uh, so I'm trying to see, is there anything else that I seen other van lifers doing in the beginning? Hmm. Is there anything else that I've seen other van lifers doing? A lot of van lifers are vegan. A lot of nomads that I watched in the beginning are vegan. I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegan. I'm supposed to be a carnivore. <laughs> but I haven't been doing that all the way right. Um, a lot of people I've seen doing van life too. Something else that I noticed when I was watching a lot of van life videos. A lot of people ate out. A lot and ate fast food and didn't look like they were eating healthy to me and I was like mm -mm. no that's why I need a stove because just because I do van life doesn't mean I mean you 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 gonna do van life for two three four five years and you're gonna eat unhealthy for three, four, five years just because you live in a van, I don't feel like that's an excuse to do van life for freedom and peace of mind, but at the same time, not be healthy. So that was something that I decided early on. I want to cook. I want to eat. I want to try to be healthy in van life, just as healthy as I've tried to continue to be in home life. I still want all the amenities of home. I see a lot of people that do van life that do not have amenities. Like they're scrunched. They're crunched. They, they don't have the amenities. I want to have amenities no matter where I go. Like, I don't want to have to just, when I put my camp, my tent out on BLM land, that'll be the only place I could stretch out or I could know when I'm in my van and I go to uh, a state park, I don't even have to put a tent out. I got water, I got electricity. I could just stay in my vehicle. I still stay in my vehicle. I back up, this is my RV. This is my camper. I back up, hook my electric up to it, and I'm cool. So just think about when I get a vehicle that I could stand up in, it's gonna be even better. Are y'all here with me? Y'all still in the house? I know it's getting late for some of y'all. I know it's getting late for some of y'all. What time is it where y'all at? It is 1120 over here, so it might be later. Miss Taronda, what time is it? We are here, Miss Vanessa. I have noticed that some spray their tires and around the van so mice don't enter. Do 
you do that they're probably staying in one place for a long amount of time i'm in the city i told y'all i have rat poison in my van so if a van if a rat get up in here he's not gonna make it so i put rat poison in my van i got rat poison in the back in the front under the seat i put rat poison in my walls before i close my walls up so if a rat get up in here i i i, I ain't gonna know about it but he won't be in here long so that's for people who are staying in one place i move my van every day i'm doing city van life i think people i think that's a difference too i probably gonna need to do a live stream city van life versus boondocking boondocking is they're staying in one place for at least 14 days some places they can stay longer than 14 days but they're not moving their vans and a lot of van lifers too don't have their food in jars like i do a lot of van lifers have their food in paper plastic and rodents can smell that like a rodent ain't gonna smell nothing up in here because unless like i got the bag of chips or something but i'm talking about i got when i first started van life i wasn't on the carnivore diet so i had flour grits oatmeal and all of that stuff but now i don't have no flour no grits no oatmeal and none of that stuff and if i did i would have it in jars the rats can't come in here and eat none of that stuff because it's all in jars and cans miss may say have learned a lot about living as a nomad but to get off and rest love you okay miss uh taronda i love you too i appreciate you i don't really sp i don't spray for roaches i mean uh for rats i don't i don't do that i've heard different things about rats and putting ivory soap down i did that when i was in uh arizona Put the ivory soap around the property for the the snakes and the flies and all of that i don't know if it works or not but it is 12 24 there so before i leave do anybody else have any other questions about doing van life the right way? Anybody else have any questions about doing van life the right way? And if there's any other topics that you want me to talk about, like tomorrow, uh, let me know. But to reiterate, to reiterate, the right way to do van life is the way that's right for you. Point blank, period. You can watch other people, get ideas, try different stuff, but ultimately figure it out on your own and do it the way that you want to do it. Uh, if you're in a climate where it's going to be cold and you don't like the cold, a stove serves the purpose of two things to cook and to heat a lot of people keep saying Vanessa how do you stay warm in the winter time how do you stay warm in the winter time they forget I have a stove in here 
they forget, baby. I'm gonna stay warm. You can say have a good night. What is the scariest thing that ever happened to you on the road? Uh, when I got uh, took to jail by the police officer. <laughs> When the police officer took me to jail. <laughs> for putting my hazard lights on and calling 911 police to say I'm pulling off at the next exit. That is scary when you live in America, when you do the right thing and you do something for your health and well-being and you are penalized and taken to jail. That is a scary thing when the police have no compassion no courtesy and no understanding that's that's like that's like make you scared to know what world you live in that's like a wake-up call to let you know evil even exists in the police department because i think that's downright evil Uh, Miss Vanessa, have you have been so inspiring? I really appreciate you, and have a good night. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. I hope you guys got something out of tonight's live stream, something informative, something helpful, something encouraging, something motivational, and. If you didn't learn nothing else but to do life the way that you want to do life, period, whether it's van life or life life, do life the way that you want to do life as long as you're not hurting anyone else, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, immoral, indecent, as long as you're not putting anybody else in harm's way and you're doing what makes you happy, that is all that matters. Uh, thank you for sharing your experiences with us. You are so awesome. Oh, Mickey, you're so sweet for telling me that. Thank you. Miss Karen, say thank you. uh miss lady i will talk to you later i am about to end the live stream so i am going to talk to you guys later i appreciate you guys i love you guys if y'all have any other questions leave them on the live stream after the uh, live stream is over with that way i can answer any of your questions in a future live stream so leave your questions on the live stream after i end the live let me know you were in here and thank you guys so much and i appreciate y'all i love y'all we have 127 people in the house and somebody just took back their thumbs up so uh we had 78 thumbs up somebody just took it back now we got 78 thumbs up Hopefully, we'll get 100 thumbs up after the live stream is over with. And I appreciate y'all, and I will talk to you guys later. Good night. Thanks for watching. I'm about to carry my butt to bed.